Today we're lucky enough to be here in Queensland at the Cali Beach training area undertaking the second of three activities in the uh, C series of exercises designed to uh, train, test and then certify the Australian Amphibious Force. The purpose of Exercise Sea Explorer is to uh, prove the concept of embarking a series of different vehicles, namely heavy A as well as uh, guns, uh, mechanised infantry and uh, suite of helicopters in order to prove the concept for the conduct of Exercise Sea Raider and the amphibious part of Exercise Talisman Sabre. Well at the moment we're just setting up to uh, commence the loading of the M1A1 main battle tank. Now this has uh, been executed previously but because this will be the first time we need to take an operational loading um, from the beach onto the ship uh, and we're actually then setting up to be able to do a full mission rehearsal activity which is where we test the entire system of the Australian Amphibious Force by running through it as though we were arriving off a, uh, a contingency area and then we'll go through the full process of offloading the combat capability, the support capability uh, and make sure we are uh, good to go in all respects. I was drawn to the Armoured Corps by the fact that everything's nice and fast. Most of the decision making is made post H or past the line of departure. It's something that lets you take command of your own armoured fighting vehicle amongst your troop of four others and gets you, lets you allow to be in the action as a troop leader and as an officer. The cohesion, the collaboration and the output is absolutely outstanding. Um, as services we come together for this, um, we settle in very quickly and we talk different language but that soon becomes a common language and we create a, a joint force in extremely quick time and this will set us up for our contingency response in the future meaning that we can come together seamlessly quickly to deliver what effort the government requires.